Hello YouTube, and welcome to episode 15 of our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough on the Hardest Difficulty. In today's episode, we get a couple of side quests done, including helping our friend Serona, who runs the Three Broomsticks, as well as testing out the Dark Arts Battle Arena. Uh, I had a ton of fun making this episode. If you find yourself enjoying the content, I would really appreciate if you left a like and subscribed, because uh, it's completely free to you, really helps me out a ton, and uh, subscribing is, of course, the best way to see more content. That being said, enjoy the content. What's up, Sorona? Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganweld potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganweld potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Pet the kitty, pet the kitty. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Right Shane here. Bardolph there thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Come on, let me at least pick this up first. Brown Rock's loyalists are a menace. What can be done? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolph dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day handpicking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against a rock and robbed him. <sighs> the moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. <sighs> I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. 
No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. I am unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Alohomora. What do we have here? House. A demiguise. I drink your beer. And I wait on your floor. Fine now, Demi guys. Oop, uh, you don't see shit. Do, do you care that I'm in here? Revelio. I don't think he cares that I'm stealing his shit. Revelio. This looks intriguing. Letter from Eddie Thistlewood. Dear sister, it's been some time since we've heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you are doing well. You'll be happy to know that we've made all our peace with your decision to become an Auror. As dangerous as it is, you must live your life and follow your path. You are doing so in service of the wizarding world, and I'm proud to call you sister. I must inform you of something that you may find curious. It seems a troll has taken up residence in the train tunnel near town. Poor thing's most certain to learn a tragic lesson about the fundamental velocity of locomotives. <laughs> right soon, Eddie Thistlewood. Ah, it was fucking fantastic. Ooh, apple. Uh, the thistle and the badge, Helen Thistlewood, reflections of a former oil, or from a former aurer. Uh, retirement isn't what I expected. I enjoy the leisure time, of course, but I do miss the excitement of hunting magical, magical fugitives. I know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the tor turmoil associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than exhilaration when chasing a Ukrainian iron belly through a muggle city and then obliviating all the muggles who saw you? Or foiling a dark wizard's plot to take over the ministry with an army of Chinese chomping cabbages. <laughs> only to use the on, using only a single basket of bouncing bulbs. When the ministry finally makes all my old cases public, my neighbors will never look at me the same way again. Old Madam Thistlewood down the lane is the one who put that nasty brute in so-and-so in Azkaban. For now, I can merely insinuate, lest I divulge something confidential... I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away into Azkaban. Not a, not an appealing thought. Well, I suppose I should check on my garden. The bluebells have been struggling this season. So, basically, what I just read was, um... This bitch was like magic CIA. Oh my god, there's more. I have a lot of time these days to reflect upon my career. I wonder if it's a, if it, if the good we did balances out the mistake. This is literally... Dude, I've been watching The Blacklist still... It's the fucking FBI show, and this is legit, like, half of the shit that they fucking say. It's kind of hilarious. Like, I mean, obviously not the magical variety, but, like, it really does. It reads like a blacklist script. Uh, I wonder if the good we did balances out the mistakes we made along the way. Did we always catch our criminals? No. Did we sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Is that an acceptable risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the wizarding world at large? I'd like to think so, but then again, I'm not an innocent witch moldering away in Azkaban. If I were... Uh, then perhaps I should feel differently. It is a quandary without solution, or at least not one that I am likely to solve. This is a problem with retirement. It leaves one with too much time to dwell upon bygone problems, but there's nothing one can do about it. Oh, and my bluebells died. That's just sad. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still dwelling upon my big hypothetical from the other day. I always made certain that I could defend my decisions before the... I'm not reading that. The wiz, the wiz, the wizengamot, wizengamot. I, I, I don't fucking know. 
Should the need arise, I was required to do this on rare occasions, and it was never a pleasant experience. No matter how confident I was, despite what some believe, the ministry is far from omnipotent. And when I hung up my badge, I left behind quite a few unsolved cases. If I had all the time in the world, I doubt I could solve them all. But should the opportunity arise to revisit one and correct any mistakes I made, I will certainly take it. That's the only way to rest easy about my career. Never hesitate to fix mistakes, especially if they're yours to begin with. I fear that in our haste to me met out justice, we may have inadvertently become the vehicle for injustice. I fear this especially for myself. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Oh, and I'm through with gardening. I need a new hobby. Revelio. I like that she just throws that fucking bottom part in there. That was that was actually kind of good. But like, yeah, holy shit, that was too much. Can't imagine how I... Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. What's I up, reckon Dorothy? Brookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. All right, one thing at a time, I guess. Excuse me, did you say something about Bardolph Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolph. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders. Especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Why would Bardolph want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. It's because they're working together, but okay. Do you think Bardolph may have simply run off? No. Bardolph's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. Already did that. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. All right, come on. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Come on. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. For sure. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. 
That's pretty fucking cool, though, that the Herbology fucking prodigy was a Muggle-born and, and was a Herbology prodigy because of the Muggles. I like when there's little shit like that. That's fucking cool. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. But I already it. gave them to you. All right. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. Alright. Are they in Ferny? Revelio. They are. Confringo Levioso Descendo Is that anything this would jump? Must be bought off. Oh, shit. Incendio. Come on, move. Confringo. Incendio. Levioso. I thought well, at least one of those would be an exploding one. Confringo! Incendio! Levioso! Descendo! Bardock's woolen jumper. Hell yeah. I'm not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. Revelio. What did really happen to him? He, he, he was an Infernius? Confringo! Like, I don't know how that becomes thing like what happened to this man oh there was a note revelio oh here we'll drink this random butter beer get hammered i don't even think actually i don't think it's alcohol enough to get hammered off of like two it's got some alcohol but i think you'd probably have to drink at least a six pack like straight up Journal entry, two of two. Okay, so I'm repulsed by what I just witnessed. They have created an inferious, a corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them I'm not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I could be next. Bardolf. Yep. This mentions in theory. Something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Ah, more beer. Revelio. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Levioso. There, there. Revelio. There it is. One of two. I hate that I'm afraid, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far, but I have had to pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. I can't let them see my fear. They're already whispering behind my back. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop until I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Upper Hogsfield. But, uh... An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with Jesus. him. All right, well. Huh. I should investigate. Off we go. Hey, Not hey. sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Not only was he dead, but I had to beat the shit out of his corpse. Come now. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. 
Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Adolf? What do you know of my brother? Oh yeah, no, he's dead. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no, no, this can't be. Oh. Oh. Hear me out. <gasps> I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, bad off. She straight up said he would never leave, so I feel like if I had lied to her, bad she probably would have known. At least this way she can grieve. Brother. So hear me out, I know that was definitely the evil option, but like... It was also kind of not an evil option. You know what I mean? Like, in the long run. Like, she gets to properly grieve. Instead of thinking that her brother abandoned her. So, in other words, win-win. Oof. Off I go on another adventure. Da -da 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 -da. For power and profits. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Revelio. Onward for power, profit, I guess, and knowledge. But I, I think in this universe, knowledge is power, so, like, you know, it's, it's kind of fitting. But I still need to visit the cave to find Sirona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more Hawklump. Better have a look around. See if I have a Hawklump's hand the box of letters. That's all the Hawklumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. All right, so that means that I've recouped what I gave her initially. Uh... Expelliarmus! Confringo! That's right. Right intention, wrong button. Lumos! I didn't even see the snare. Confringo! Lumos! Revelio. I thought so. Okay. Now. Actually, fuck there were, but fuck it. There's a bunch, I think, down there, and apparently spiders. Uh. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wrong button. Confringo. Well, correct button actually. Wrong spell interface. Huh. Nineteen galleons. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Levioso! Descendo! Confringo! Expelliant! Defendo! Accio! Let me go. 
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Get me. That's the way I came in. Girls. Hey. Revelio. Holy shit. This must be Sorona's box of letters. I honestly, yeah, we're not sitting here and reading all this shit. I should take this box. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. I'm sure she will. Revelio. Confringo. There we go. Yeah. Revelio. Revelio. Good, we're going into the Forbidden Forest. Let's go check out the Dark Arts Battle Arena. I mean, I paid for it. Might as well, right? 
Revelio. Exposo. Incendio. Levioso. Descendo. That's the best you can do, is it? Expelliarmus. No! Incendio. Levioso. What is happening? Descendo. Confringo. Ugh. I'm a simple man. I see breakable vase. Oh, it's like actually a thing. Hold on. There's only one left. Confringo! Is it like up here, up here? No. Levioso. Revelio. I'm in the area again. Oh. There's like a defined area for it, apparently. Ah, ah, ah. Smash! Hey, fuckers! Fight waves of enemies in the battle arena with the unforgivable with the unforgivable curses of Cadaver, Imperio, and Crucio, as well as the blasting curse, Confringo, and in addition to their unique and devastating effects, unforgivable curses break through all shield charms. I would like to try this, please. Oh, is this like all I get? Alright. So that's Imperio, that's Crucio, that's a Oh shit. Ah! You failed with the backbone again, didn't you? I'm about to wish you had an idea. I'm just warming up. You shouldn't go about stealing gold. Confirm it. Oh, 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 Finita. Oh, oh. Let's go. Get. And For your deed. Wait till you shit. Imperial. Also, doesn't count as a bad thing. No, but we are using the evil explosives in the game now, Matt. Or the evil spells in the game now, Matt. Imperium! I'll try! Her body is out! She's falling! Nobody can miss her. Confirm that! Expulsion! You won't stop this one! Expulsion! Let's hold your good eye! Expulsion! Huh? Confirm the new killings with me. You'll answer for this. No. You're only delaying the inevitable. Incendio! First. Incendio! Confringo! Confringo! Oh, I'm 
the error of your I can't wait until I have a, an actual build and can actually use the curses. Seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Alright. Let's go give her her letters back. 
Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories.